Hi everyone, this is Bobby from beyond-games.com and we're doing part three of the Packard Bell Restore and uh, I screwed up. Um, I did not bring the old hard drive, so this video uh, may or may not be short. I don't know yet. What we're going to do is I'm going to open up the case again on this Packard Bell and I'm going to plug in the drive that I got off of eBay and see if it boots up with anything at all. Uh, so. I think the video will really de depend on that. Um, and then next week, although in this video you might be watching them all, you know, one after another, but uh, next week I'm going to bring the other hard drive, which I know had Windows 3.1 on it, and see if that works. One thing I forgot to mention um, on that Windows 3, well, my old hard drive, I actually ran it as a slave drive uh, on a newer version of Windows, I think it was Windows XP, and uh, I ran check disk on it to repair sectors, and it did find some bad sectors on it, so it, that might have been the problem with it. That might be all it needed to boot, at least in the old Packer Bell, but I have no idea. So uh, let me get the shroud off, and uh, let's plug this baby in and see if we get any sort of video. I've already set the jumpers to master, um, and it should just pop on, so... Let's see. Okay, let's see what we got here. Unclub the power. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then unclub the IDE cable. Okay. And I'm just going to run this sitting outside of uh, the, the case. Well, rather not screwed into place because if this thing doesn't work, well, hell, I don't even know if it's going to turn on, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> you know, no point in going through all that effort. Now, I want to make sure that the circuit board doesn't touch anything metal, so I think I'm just going to flip it around. That should be okay. Um, so let's power it on. Okay, let's power the monitor on. And let's power the PC on. Okay, we've got power. I also got, uh, I found a, a mouse that I've tried to disinfect. It was in a drawer and probably been sitting there for Jesus who knows how many years. Okay, it detects the mouse, that's good. It detects the hard drive. We know that the battery's dead. Let's see if it boots. Ooh, Windows 95. So this one has Windows 95. Wow, two drives with Windows 95. Oh, professional protected move. Interesting. I wonder if you needed a key to get into this hard drive. Huh, that is interesting. Let's see. Can I get around it? I probably can't. I bet it's not encrypted, though. That's definitely McAfee. Hmm. Okay, well, we know the drive is good. We know it has Windows 95. But it seems to be locked down, so that'll be interesting to plug into an um, external uh, enclosure or slave it and see what it does. Okay, well. <laughs> the video is uh, indeed short, um, so the eBay drive definitely works. Um, I definitely want to see what's on it. I'm going to, um, I am going to slave it at some point and see if we find whatever files are on it. And uh, in the next part, I'll plug in my childhood drive and see what it does. So, not much more I can do in this particular video. 
Uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, any comments? I still need to find a Windows 3.1 installer. Uh, floppies, if not, I know where I can find repositories and create them, um, you know, if need be. Uh, one other thing, well, a couple things should mention. I did dust it out. It should be cleaner. Um, and like I said, I found the mouse, so I don't know. Not much more I can say about this but for now, but it is an interesting development. So, yeah, that's all for now. <laughs> Sorry this was a short one. Uh, please come back for part four. Uh, I'll see you then. Thank you.